Bob Saget died at the age of 65 on January 9th in Orlando, Florida, mere hours after he sent his last tweet in the late night, early morning hours on the same date. Sharing with fans after a successful performance in Ponte Vedra, Florida the previous evening, the comedian and actor wrote on Twitter, Love tonight's show at Ponte Vedra Concert Hall in Jacksonville. Appreciative audience. Thanks again to Tim Wilkins for opening. I had no idea I did a two-hour set tonight. This startling jump from a forward-thinking post to an abrupt ending has fans reeling, and the responses immediately poured in with sentiments like, please, please tell me this ain't true, and how can this be true? How can it happen like this? Unfortunately, this news has been confirmed by multiple sources, including the Orange County Sheriff's Office, who made a statement via Twitter. Earlier today, deputies were called to the Ritz-Carlton Orlando Grand Lakes for a call about an unresponsive man in a hotel room. The man was identified as Robert Saget and pronounced deceased on scene. Detectives found no signs of foul play or drug use in this case. One attendee of the show has since reflected on Instagram, Wow, what an honor it was to witness Bob's last comedy show and last moments on this earth. Bob went almost two hours over his normal set time and made the whole audience feel loved. He cracked jokes applicable to all ages and political parties. Clearly looking forward to the future, Bob Saget's heartbreaking last tweet concluded, I'm happily addicted again to this sh Check bobsaget.com for my dates in 2022. The comedy legend had performed in Orlando on January 7th at Hard Rock Live and January 8th at Ponte Vedra Beach Concert Hall. He was next scheduled for January 28th at Palm Beach Improv in West Palm Beach, Florida, according to his website. Ticketmaster had also listed dates for the comedy performance across the United States during spring and summer of 2022, with locations including Hawaii, Massachusetts, and multiple nights in Texas. The touring of southern states was a favorite of Saget's, and an area of the U.S. he had visited many times. He described the experience in an interview with AL.com, saying, I've always played the South. Bible Belt people love me. They love my dirtier stuff more than anything else. And there's always a mixture in my work, but it's not as blue as half the people you're watching these days. So the South is no different than anywhere else. You talk to people like they're people. Saget's opening act on his final night was fellow stand-up artist Tim Wilkins, who describes himself as a 20-year veteran stand-up comedian, TV and radio personality, speaker, and writer. Both industry veterans and audiences were treated to Saget's experience and modern wit. Ponte Vedra Concert Hall had tweeted one of Bob Saget's own posts, sharing their anticipation of what would be his final performance on Twitter, demonstrating once again that Saget truly enjoyed the stand-up comedy experience. Speaking on his love of stand-up, Saget pointed out that his comedy was very much his. He told AL.com in 2021, My stand-up is a place where I have full control over it. No one's editing it. Sometimes it should be edited. But I get to engage with the audience and get to just be myself. And it's like I'm in their living room and they're in my living room. After witnessing his final performance, a grateful fan shared on Instagram, over and over, he stressed the importance of this world needing more comedy and finding more common ground with everyone around you. Bob recently released his own podcast that is definitely worth listening to. In addition, he was in the midst of filming a special. Stay on the lookout for it. I'm there for you, babe. While tributes and condolences pour in online for this favorite television dad, our heartbreak can be lessened somewhat by Saget's sheer volume of laughs left behind in the form of comedy television, podcasts, books, live performances, and memorable hosting and narration. Rest in peace, Bob Saget, and thank you for the memories, the laughs, and the love to all those around you.